home, I realized that some of my mosquito bites were not really healing. I also noticed that something was living in them. I had the human botfly. Botflies are interesting animals. We get them from mosquitoes, and the mosquitoes get them from a female botfly, who catches a mosquito, lays eggs on it, and then lets it go. When a mosquito bites you, the heat of your body causes the eggs to hatch, and then the tiny larvae drop onto your skin. The easiest way to remove a botfly is to use a suction venom extractor. Botflies are not particularly serious parasites, but they can occasionally be painful, mine was, and so I decided to remove it. This is not a nipple, but a warble, the place where the botfly larva lives in the skin. After a few minutes of suction, the larva was mostly out, and I pulled it out completely with tweezers. This larva was very tiny, but its body was already covered with spines that make pulling botflies out of the skin so difficult. In any case, the larva is out. End of story. Did I mention that I am an entomologist? Well, I had never seen an adult botfly, and so I decided to let the two remaining larvae in my skin live and mature. Also, I, I figured that being a male, this was my only chance to produce another living, breathing being out of my flesh and blood. It took two months for the larvae in my skin to reach the point where they were ready to emerge. The process took about 40 minutes. It was not particularly painful, in fact, I probably would have not noticed it if I had not been waiting for it, as the botfly larvae produce painkillers that make their presence as unnoticeable to the host as possible. After the larva came out, the hole in the skin healed completely within the next 48 hours. The mature botfly larva is an impressive looking animal, covered with big spines and sporting a pair of large fangs. <laughs>